Thanks. <laughs> For those of you who have never been here before, uh, we all your money. We don't even pay these guys. Yeah. Mona and I save it for vacation. <laughs> no, all the extra money goes uh, to our March show in March, and it uh, pays all the overhead for the show where we have about 400 people, which these guys played there uh, last year, or this year. Yeah. They're not coming back, though. Really? Don't let them leave. So we're going to have two separate shows this year, one for comedy, one for music. We hope they can come back, but we haven't figured that out yet. Uh, you have to talk to Jeff. <laughs> uh, first of all, happy birthday to Nat, my friend Nat. He's one of the best uh, soccer coaches uh, North Andover ever had. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Kids, kids that... Uh, wanted to quit soccer, played for, Na uh, for Nat, and went back to it. So he's a good guy, he's a good friend, and happy birthday, and thank you for coming. Thanks for having the music for my birthday. Okay. <laughs> we'll try to do it next year as well. Uh, uh, Seth said uh, on a couple occasions, once last mo March in, in front of 400 people, that I remind him of his dad, but I swear a lot. Well, so does my dad. That's but you said I swear. Dad. You said I swear more. I think it was because you swear. <laughs> yeah. I think you said more. But anyway, I thought that was a compliment. Uh, if we were going to adopt two children, and we're kind of over that now, it would be these two guys right here. For all the good work that they do. Really? Is that all you got? And you haven't even heard me sing that. Yeah, we want you to adopt us. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, I almost forgot. We have an Iron Man in the house. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what an Iron Man is, that means you have to swim 2.4 miles. I think you got to bike 112 and then run a marathon. 112 miles? 112 miles, then run a marathon all in oh one day. God. <laughs> right there. Stand up, Tom, so we all know who you are. He is standing up. Is he still on the first leg? <laughs> Tom was one of the first uh, children that e ever looked up to me. It was about 30. <laughs> but in a different way. Uh, <laughs> but back then, it was about 38 years ago, and I said to myself, how in the world, uh, what gets better than that? To some little kid looking up to me because I was like almost a little kid myself. But I realized about a year ago, I says the best thing, the only thing that could be better is now I look up to him. Not because you're a good athlete, but you're a great dad and a good friend. We, uh, we climbed Mount Washington twice with Tom. Uh, every time we we're afraid to do something, we call Tom so he can lead us through it. Uh, he's just a great uh, brother in law, but he's, he's like my, my best friend too. So thank you, Tom. Thanks, man. I can hit the whiffle ball pretty good, okay? <laughs> then the reason we're all here tonight is because of Casey Robinson, my surrogate daughter. <laughs> all the extra money goes to the CF Foundation, former daycare of our child as well. And uh, the other thing, uh, Seth and, and Ryan really don't like to play uh, the next right thing anymore, right? You don't like that song? No, we don't mind it. But you don't do it because you think you're, you're kind of going beyond that. No, it's not, it has nothing to do with that. What, what does it have to do with? It's, 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 it's your favorite song. No, it's not. No, no. You played it for like a year and a half, then you said, I'm just not going to play that song anymore. That's not true, Dean. You did. You told me right to my face. I cried and everything. <laughs> about a month ago. Well, anyway, anyway, about a month ago, uh, my family, uh, Mona, uh, my boys, uh, Nathan and Bill. Bill couldn't be here. He's in Maine doing Maine stuff. Nathan. Uh, and my daughter, Casey, we had, we had a choice to do uh, the next right thing and the next thing right. And I'll tell you something. Sometimes it's very difficult because when you try to do the next thing right, there's a whole bunch of people that get in your way and try to stop you. And it gets very irritating and it gets hurtful. So every time I get really pain, pain in my heart with that, I would get in the car and I would put this song on. So I would tell him, like, you got to play this song. I can't be the only one. 
that it means something to him. So I think maybe he should play the song tonight. I think he should do the next thing right. Don't you think? The next right. Thing. Or the next thing right. <laughs> Either way. All right. So I don't know if he's going to sing this song tonight, but I hope he does. I really hope he does. I'm going to do it. No, I don't, you know, you, it, it, it's all up to you. Hey, Dean. One thing about Dean, he has no idea how to apply pressure. <laughs> <laughs> no idea how to do it. But anyway, that, that's, oh, and by the way, uh, going back to Tom again, he's trained, uh, he's trained Mona and I to how to successfully run a half marathon with Cheryl. <laughs> and we're going to be running it September 30th, and you'll be getting mass emails on please donate money. It, all the proceeds will be going to CF, and you guys are getting the, uh, the emails as well. Perfect. So, <laughs> so again, thanks, Tom. He, he, he taught, taught us how to do it without killing ourselves. So, now, that's all the announcements for tonight. Is everybody here? Monica? Is Monica here now? Yes. Monica. Okay, because we held this whole thing up for you. No, really, we held it up because we were looking at the, the radar, and now all the tornadoes and hurricanes have taken the left and the right. Now it's safe to have the concert. Okay? <laughs> So, uh, always a pleasure. I don't even know who I am. To announce. <laughs> Grammy nominee, <laughs> Seth Glear, and especially Ryan Homer. <laughs> <laughs>